So this is Jingle, and if you're watching this video, it's probably because Jingle stopped working for you. And you're sure that it's not the batteries, and you're sure that your kids didn't absolutely destroy it, you're sure it's not user error, that kind of thing. You're just wondering, well, what happened? So in this video, I'm going to teach you exactly what we did to fix Jingle and how we brought him back to life. And turns out, the switch in his ear had come undone. You'll see, off to the left, there's a little switch that's got a contact point on it. And those two wires off to the right that are coming out of Jingle are supposed to make contact on that switch. Above that is a little rubber piece that sits on top of that, and then above that is a white cap. You'll see that as you uh, do surgery on Jingle. First of all, you've got to open up his ear to see this little piece, and if you get in there and start playing around with it, you'll figure out what's going on. Uh, before you get started on even thinking about soldering stuff, though, what you want to do right now is make sure that the batteries in Jingle are fresh. And then once you know that, these two wires that are coming out, tap them together. Make sure you've got two bare wire points that are touching. And at that point, you're completing the circuit and Jingle should talk to you. He should light up. If that doesn't work for you, that may not solve your problem. But you might want to try this anyway. So like I said, there are the two wires. Strip them so that you actually see the bare wire points. And then in this case, what I did was take some heat shrink tubing, slide up the wires, and you'll see the little mark that I put on there, so I marked left and right. Uh, but of course, if you use this heat shrink tubing, you want to go ahead and put it on there before you start soldering, because of course you can't do it later. So then there's the little switch, and you'll see uh, I've got one side kind of lined up with the wire here. I don't think it matters, because once again, you're, all you're doing here is completing the circuit. So really all, all you need to do is just solder either side. But in my case, I was able to keep track with which side came from where, I think. So uh, it, it ended up working out fine for me. And there's my first solder joint. Uh, I am not an electrician. I'm not an engineer or anything like that. So if you are, you're probably not even watching this video. But in case you are, sorry about that. I know that's not the best quality. But you know what? It gets the job done, and I think most people can do this. So all you have to do is drop those solder points on there. Uh, I used a really basic soldering iron from Radio Shack and some very basic solder. Uh, all it took was about a drop each on either side. Really, really simple. So there it is, completed. And actually... Uh, that's that's completed at first. I ended up having to redo it a couple of times just because that's a really stiff joint. So once you stick it back up in Jingle's ear, you've got to be careful with it. I don't think it's ever really been a kid's toy. I'm not sure why Hallmark ended up advertising it as such. It's such a fragile piece the way that, it, that they've designed this. But nevertheless, if you do it right, it's going to be a lot more stable than it ever was coming from China. Uh, so anyway, there it is with the two solder points. At this point, you can take your little rubber piece that's not shown in this picture and sit it on top of that and push that button and that rubber piece has metal in it so it makes contact with the circuit here and it completes the circuit and you'll hear Jingle talk if you've done it right. Uh, the next step in my case was to take that heat shrink tubing. Uh, this is just a normal little craft heat gun that my wife uses for craft stuff uh, and it was able to heat up the heat shrink tubing properly. There's that picture again. So you want to slide that heat shrink tubing down and then heat it up so that it forms a nice, nice joint. Uh, a nice secure piece so that of course you don't want the metal touching. There's another picture of Jingle's operation earlier today and uh, this right here you'll see that I en ended up actually taking one of the heat shrink pieces off of the other one. Uh, it was just too much going on in that plastic housing so your mileage may vary. Figure out what works best for you. In this case it, it actually worked out pretty well insulating one solder point from the other solder point. There's a look at uh, what it looked like when we slid it back in the cup and once again that rubber piece that's not pictured here uh, you would sit it on top of that then put the button back together like we've done here and then slide it back into Jingle's ear sew him up and he should be good to go good luck hope it works out for you if it does let me know in the comments if it doesn't let me know uh, what is working for you or what's not working for you and maybe you guys can help each other out in the comments. I noticed on Hallmark's Facebook page there were a lot of people who had these similar issues with Jingle. So apparently it's a uh, it's of course a great product uh, but apparently it's got some quality control issues and I don't think Hallmark has actually worked all those out. But anyway if uh, this issue is as common for other people as it, as it was in my case if that's the, the prevailing issue it's really not that hard to fix and you can easily bring Jingle back to life. 